Welcome students. Today this is our first online geography class. Uh, today we will start our first chapter Earth as a planet. So students we will be covering this chapter in two parts. So in the first part uh, we will study about the shape of the Earth. Okay. Right. So let's get started. So students the earth is the only planet in the solar system which supports the life this you know very well and you have studied in the previous classes also okay uh, let's talk more about this uh, the earth is an oblate spheroid which means that it is not a spherical in shape okay that means it is bulge at the equator and flatten at the poles okay and uh, all the planets along with the earth uh, they revolve around the sun in an imaginary path which we called as orbit okay and the chief members of the solar system are planets satellites uh, asteroids comets meteorites etc okay right so with uh, respect to the distance from the sun the first planet uh, that is there is the first one is mercury then venus then the earth earth is, earth is at third uh, farthest distance from the sun then comes the mars then jupiter then saturn then uranus and then neptune okay so now come to the topic the shape of the earth the shape of the earth is spherical okay and uh, this has been proved by the various experiment and observations okay so among the many uh, so as to prove that the shape of the earth is spherical we will go one by one. So the first one is uh, the Bradford level experiment. So student, in this experiment, an experiment this was taken, uh, this was carried out at the Bradford level canal. It is in England. Okay. So three poles that were of equal length, they were fixed at an equal interval of five kilometer from one after the another. Okay. So ensuring that all of the height uh, would be above the water be the same. Okay. And when the during the time of observation, when the poles they were viewed from the one end of the canal, it was being observed that the middle pole it looks slightly higher as compared to the first and the third one. With respect to the first and third one, okay, though they were placed at an equal height above the water, but the second pole it was slightly it was being observed that it was slightly higher than the first and the third. Okay, and this experiment was repeated at different places and the results were same. Okay, but what was the observation? The observation was that it could not have possible if the earth had a flat surface which means that the second pole would not be slightly higher if the earth surface was flat. Okay. Understood? This which means that earth is spherically shaped. That is why the second pole it was slightly higher as compared to the first and the third pole. Okay student. Okay. Now next is sighting of the ship. So sighting of the ship in this observation what was observed that while standing at the seashore and approaching a ship we don't see all of a ship you know whole part of the ship all at once. We can see the ship in parts. So as and when the ship approaches us the first part that we see is its must. Okay. And when it comes much more closer, we can say it's middle part, that is the deck, and then it's funnel, and then finally the hull. Okay, so this means that all of the ship we don't see all at once. Okay, and the ship can be seen, you know, part wise. Okay, which means that the earth is spherical. Because if the earth would not have been spherical in shape, all of the ship view can be seen easily, instantaneously. Okay, students. Now, next thing is a pole star. Okay, so in pole star, so from the north pole, if you see a pole star, it makes an angle of 90 degree. Okay, students. So while moving towards the equator, its angle decreases. Okay, it goes on decreasing, and at the equator, it makes an angle of zero degree. Okay, so this means. The earth, if it were flat, the pole star would have the same, okay, the pole star would have the same height for all the latitudes, but 
the case is different the earth is spherical that's why the angles goes on decreasing okay students now comes the next that is the satellite pictures so students all the satellite pictures when they were taken from the space and they were fed in the computer so it was clearly seen that the shape of the earth is spherical and the poles are slightly flattened okay correct so this is the satellite pictures now comes the lunar eclipse okay so during the time of lunar eclipse the shadow of the earth on the moon surface is clearly visible and it appears like an arc of a circle isn't it it appears like an arc of a circle which means that the earth is spherical in shape okay now next is circular horizon so from a height the view of the surface it is circular okay and with the increase in latitude the circular horizon also widens so if the earth surface it would have been flat the horizon would also be the same but it's not because of the shape of the earth okay correct now comes the sunrise and sunset so students as in your every day you notices that the sun rises from the east and sets in the correct west okay and it take place at different time and at different places sunrise and sunset it takes place at different time and at different places it differs why it is because the earth rotates from west to east hence if the earth have been flat all the places on the earth must have experienced the same time of sunrise and same time of sunset okay so this don't happen why because of the spherical shape of the earth correct next thing is the earth as a heavenly body so student you already know that the earth belong to the solar system okay the solar family so all the planet in the system they are spherical in shape isn't it they are spherical in shape okay and why because of their continuous rotation okay so the earth being a member of the solar family how can it be alone okay so it is also the same and in with respect to the shape of the planets like uh, like the other planets the shape of the earth is also spherical so this is how our first part ends and the second part we will start on the uh, next video till then be safe be inside and keep learning